Hello Divination and welcome to our mini series 5 ways on how to style Divi's countdown timer module. The countdown timer module is very important because it can be used on several pages. For example, sales pages, coming soon pages or any page that has time sensitive information. So in this mini series, I'll be showing you step by step how to style these pages and make them look very creative. The goal of this mini series and all our mini series is to provide you with free, fun and practical web design exercises that will improve your mastery of the DV WordPress theme one day at a time. So this is the countdown timer that we'll be building in today's quick tip. As you can see, it's bold as the title suggests. And also we've chosen a font that's really, really bold to make sure that it grabs attention as the visitor visits the website. So before we get started, let's go through the elements that we need to make this work. So in this quick tip, all we need is just the CSS, which I'll link in the show notes below. So let's dive in. Let me show you step by step how I managed to build this. So log into your WordPress dashboard and then create a new page. So I'm going to come here to pages and then click on add new. So let's call this page BT short for bold timer. So I'm going to click use the div builder and we're going to dive into the visual builder. So what we need here is to add a single row with a countdown timer module. So I'm just going to search for it and I'm going to add the countdown timer. So as we're counting down towards the end of the year, we might as well use the 1st of January as the date to count down to. Okay, so next what we need to do is to add the background color. So in this example, I'm going to use this red. However, you can choose any color you want that matches your website's or brand's color palette. All right, so now that I've got the color, I'm just going to go into design. And here we're going to change the font. So as you can see, the font we have here is not as bold as we want it to be. So the font we're going to use here is going to go on all the titles, the header font, the numbers text, and also the labels font. So the font we're going to use throughout this is going to be Oswald. And we need to make sure that in all these instances, it's set to all caps and bold. So the next one is the numbers font. We're going to make it all caps and bold. And then finally, we go to the labels font and do the same. Okay, so that's looking good so far. Okay, so next we need to add some styling to this. So to do that, we need to add a CSS class. So we're going to add the class here. You can call this class anything you want, by the way. It doesn't really make a difference. So after you've added the class, you need to go ahead and save. Now, what we need to do is to add the styling onto this page. So the difference between adding the CSS onto this page is the CSS only applies to this page. Whereas if you're doing it in the um, theme options, the CSS is applied throughout the whole website. So now it's time to add the CSS. So I'm going to come here to the page settings and then click on the CSS tab. And then all we have to do here is to enter the CSS and you can see here in this live preview that all our settings have been added. We've got a nice uh, background shadow and also these rounded corners. So once you're done with that, just click on save and then you need to publish the page. So now that you have your countdown timer, what you can do is you can add uh, more information on this page by creating new sections. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching and if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing daily video quick tips similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.